Welcome back to <laughs> Lily Clap Story. I'm Fire Nation, and this is Project Zomboid. Alrighty, everybody. So, I guess it's technically still the first day. Yeah. But we did get some sleep last night. Let's go ahead and fill up our mug. And I figured out you can open canned goods with the screwdriver. Which is cool, because I'm sure that's a part of the Common Sense mod. You would be able to if you just stuck it in the can enough. Alright. I can hear some zombies grumbling about the area. I'm sure some moved in while I was sleeping. We got a nice breach in our security to our house. We are starting to get a little bit bored. Yeah. I heard you wandering about. I want to keep clearing this place out. This was actually a really nice spawn location. We got a nice big tall fence behind us, which I think goes to the train tracks actually do that you can have that tin can and switch to our backpack in case we want to loot anything else yeah this is a nice spawn location because it's not in the heart of town like our other un unfortunate survivors got where i had to try and survive beating zombies with pins and scissors in that university man that was a that was a stand that was a fight for my life all I'm really able to do here is to just aggro a couple zombies at a time and deal with them. That's the only thing I'm going to be able to do. Thank God I've got short blunt level four with this construction worker and the skills we chose. That's the only thing I think that's been able to keep me alive at this point. We've already got level one in light footed and sneaking 13 hours into our run. Just because of how many Zeds are in this area. <laughs> Eventually, something's going to happen, like a gunshot. And they're all going to move and converge into this area. So, the more I can clear out sooner, the better. That, and I would like to be able to get into some of these houses. And find a proper melee weapon. Even a crowbar. A crowbar would be so useful. Nice, nice hitboxes there, game. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it to get out of control. Drop this. And what I mean by out of control is 50 billion zombies chasing me. And then I aggro 50 billion more trying to get away from them. Go down. Okay, we got one. That's a start. We do got to be careful because we didn't get much sleep last night. Oh, come on. This is where it starts getting out of control. Once that happens, I'm done for. I'll lose the character. And I don't want to. I'm just going to try and do little circles. God, this is already a huge crowd to fight off. With a griddle pan. Come on, we got a big hiking bag on the day one. Big hiking bag. Don't screw me over yet, game. Please. There we go. More kills, the better. The easier things will begin to go. More of these sons of baconators I can get down, the better. It'll be easier to kite them. It'll be easier to deal with them. Ugh. Hey, go on this side. And the less of them I have in my area, the better. One of them stuck on my bedroom window, which is not ideal. Nope. Nope. Golly. I'm panicked. <laughs> I'm panicked in real life. I don't want to lose another character, man. I just want to get to surviving. There we go. Nice single file line, guys. Each of you will get your chance with the griddle pan. I promise. Someone's got to give. Come on. I think I got one more good frying pan in my bag. This one's about burnt. Ah, oh. oh, yeah. I can't even commentate. <laughs> I'm just like Clinch City, man. 
Okay, good. We turned one into a crawler. It's like once the zombies get onto you, every other zombie in the area just knows. It's like they communicate like ants. They're releasing a stank pheromone, telling the other zombies, Hey, we got a fresh one. Come and get him. What I wouldn't give for a lead pipe right about now. Or a pipe wrench. Getting thirsty already. There we go. Finally. Yeah, I saw you from behind me. Baconator. You giraffe with the CPAP. I know there's a few in my house, too. Whoop. Whoopa. Europa. Flashbacks of Min Thibodeau. <laughs> and that West Point kerfuffle we had. There we go. There we go. Nope. Just go down. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Some combat boots. Heck yeah, we'll wear those. Get rid of those strap shoes. Useless. Anything else? I thought I saw maybe a hand fork or a bread knife or something stuck in one of the zombies. Hey, no. Get off my window. Bad. Ah, you. That's what I was hearing. Good night, ma'am. Oh, boy. I'm just drained after tonight's recording session. Yeah, butter knife. Eh, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> Some more Legion Susies. Those are good. Denim hot pants. <laughs> um, gunsmith cats. No, no. Let's check some of these corpses out. I think I've rifled through a couple of these houses down this way already. We didn't find much. A lot of digital watches to take apart if I could get the electrical one book I need this back area cleared out this needs to be my hunting ground this griddle pan's gonna break in the next like two seconds come on go down go down there we go there we go we need water pronto so let's go in. Actually, let's get a rest real quick. And I guess we'll just remove the broken glass. Yeah. As long as we got a weapon in our hand, right? We're good. Oh, the commenters teach me everything. You guys are awesome. Let's drink first. And then we'll fill our empty mug. And put this in the fridge. What do we got in here? Let's have a little bit of cereal. And we'll attach this one to our back. Yeah. And we have the griddle pan. Or anything else? Sauce pans, griddle pans, rolling pins. They're all good. <laughs> They're all good for my weaponry. I'll take them. God, there's still a lot. This side's not looking too bad over here. I haven't gotten into this house yet. Oof. Yeah, it is. It's looking bad. Do you have anything? No. What do you got stuck in you? A steak? Red knife? A letter opener, it looks like. Yeah, there goes that. That griddle pan is gonzo. Oh boy. I done goofed. Yep. Done goofed. Ah, yeah. We might be able to lose a couple of them. There's one down. They're gonna tear my house up, too. Ah. All I can do is swing this frying pan furiously. Try and deal with my impending doom. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. There we go. Yes. Frying pan of justice, baby. This game has got to throw us a bone. She's got some scissors stuck in her. I don't know if I have those yet. I don't think I do. No. So let's favorite them. I know there were a lot more zombies than that. Just want to have a quick, quick 
peek through the loot there. Can you tell I'm flustered? <laughs> ah, it's like back to the old days. When I first started Project Zomboid, using frying pans and rolling pans and saucepans as weaponry. And butter and bread knives. They suck, but man, they'll work in a pinch. Anything, game. <laughs> Anything would be useful. Hunting knife? Rambo knife? Cabbage seeds! Oh, got cabbage seeds on the first day. <laughs> oh my god. As soon as I go uncrouched, I just get ramped on by zombies. Look at this place, man. It's a madhouse already. Uh, oh, I tried to get her at least. The frying pan's not bad, actually. Like, it's doing better than the griddle pan. Or the saucepan. For damn sure better than trying to use pens and pencils. Whoop. Let's sneak on back. Got a million more to get through. <laughs> Just let me... Let me survive. Ah, I tried to get the other one, too. No dice, so... Don't you grab my ankle, you little bastard. You little chihuahua. You little fiend. Totally messed up my whole opportunity there. Die! God. Some boots. Walkie-talkie. Yeah, I mean, like, they need to really add some stuff into the game like some cheap survival knives like pocket knives because at the beginning of the game you get nothing it's unfair you just get nothing from the zombies there's another level up and sneaking <laughs> we're level two already god all right well we need some water well if we can level sneaking up that could aid us quite a bit all right and we'll just scarf down this whole ice cream yeah, we need to get our weight up. I wish I could find a can opener, because I don't want to use my screwdriver up. Oh, hello. Yeah, nice of you to show up. Did you bring a potluck? No? Well, good. Then you get the foot stomp. <laughs> Sons of Baconators. They're still coming from over here. Man! Oh my god. What? The hell? How many are over there? You remember me saying that about the zombies sending out a stank pheromone like ants? Letting their cohorts know that there's a brawl going on? Yeah. I'm starting to really lean towards that theory. It's like they just know. They know where you're at at all times. I need a freaking chainsaw. Or a wheat thresher. <laughs> Go San Andreas on these zombies. How fun was that back in the day? <clears throat> Going up to the farm in the mountain and doing your best to drive it down without blowing up the wheat thresher and then taking it to like the beach strip. <laughs> ah, the good old days. Or getting on the mountain bike and riding it down this, the mountain. That was so much fun. Had some good times on San Andreas. That was one of the greats. Get out of my house! Ooh, you got a hand fork. I'll take that. Ah, half broken. See, like, that, that, like, hand forks and stuff, that's cool. I mean, not everybody's gonna have a weapon. Some people get caught off guard by the... Apocalypse, but every zombie having nothing <laughs> that doesn't fly doesn't make any sense Man, we had such a good start in that LSU place too All those magazines that we got how-to generators man, that was great Couldn't really ask for a better start, but other than that there just wasn't anything there no! No! No you don't. Yes. If I can keep doing... kills like that, there's a 357. We'll be good. 
I'm gonna leave that there. I don't even have a holster to hold it. And blasting off. Ooh, do I not have a leather jacket? Oh, I do. I'm wearing one. Yeah, blasting off guns this early on? Nah. That's just asking for it. And I don't like biting the hand that feeds. Not at all. Okay, 1.50 p.m. Guarantee we're going to start getting tired soon. Got a big group down there. Small group there. No idea what's around the corner. I'm going to try and aggro these guys. A little bit at a time. There we go. Big group up there, too. Lighter. Take it. Old man Rivers. Had to smoke his Cuban cigars. Hey, don't you walk away from me. I will turn this Project Zomboid around. <gasps> Pink flamingos! My god. What have the zombies done to you, Pink flamingos? <laughs> I love sneaking up on them. There goes our last bastion of survival. Now it's down to short blade and our hands. Ooh. A fanny pack doesn't have anything in it. And I still, yeah, you can. You can still use this. Cool. I like it. Um, let's have a bit of the cereal. Rifle through some more corpses. Hurry. Does anybody have, like, a baseball bat? Oh, my God. Crowbar? Anything? There we go. Caught a few of their attention. Or one. One's better than 50. Is there anything behind me? No. Good. We might be able to check out this house. Sneaking through the window. All right. Should be far enough away from all the other ones. Let's get out, I guess, this meat cleaver just in case. Are you alive? Or are you <laughs> not second dead yet? It's whatever. There's no garages around here either, which is suck. All right, let's get a little rest in. Turn around, please. I hear you. Blasted zombies. I hear quite a few of them. That looks like a closet. Woodcraft one. Fishing nets. Yeah, there's a lot. Is this a closet? That's a bedroom. Could use that alarm clock to maybe try and draw some zombies away. Take both of those. We'll get a drink. Fill up our mug. Come on. Meat cleaver, anything. Take you. Um, I'll just take the pineapple and tuna. Red knife. Uh, I suppose. Sure. Hey, there we go. Let's take that. We'll scarf down and... Oh, can you not? Oh, you have to slice it. Nah. We'll leave it there. Uncooked sausage. Okay. Well, not a whole lot in here, unfortunately. Oh, yes, there is. There's a baseball bat. And if I find nails, I can slowly repair that. Beskarn fisherman suit? Okay. That was a lucky find. Thank you, game, for finally giving me something. Let's get out of here. There's a lot of grumbling going on over there. It's not a crowbar, but hey, I mean, it's it's decent. It'll last for a little while. Oh god, those guys are just inching closer and closer. It's 4.20 p.m. <laughs> Blaze it up, mate! We're already tired. I'm gonna have to sneak into here and keep quiet for the night. You know what? I should probably go to the house below this. Because this one is just compromised beyond measure. 
at least with the window on on a bedroom i think it gives you the chance to wake up while they're beating on it hello hello ah. bugged out or something oh my come on run please the hell was that man what the hell was that just a horde of them sitting over there my cowboy hat's gone it's kind of stupid how when they do get a shot off on you your character's just like oh i don't know i don't know and sits there like a lug what just grabbed me i better stand here and make sure that it grabs me again yeah this is not ideal this is not ideal uh take some vitamins it's gonna have to do what i can there we go we lost some inside i would like that guy's crash helmet yeah you and you got leather gloves Come on, let's go over here. Step into my office, Bambinos. Fight them back here, where we hopefully won't aggro anything else. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you. You cheeky. The baseball bat might do more damage, but at the same time, it's going to wear me out a lot more. I don't want to get exerted. Oh, that tree. There we go. And I don't want to go back out that way. Because of that other big group. Yes. Got another chihuahua biting at my ankles. Woo! My god. <laughs> Give me a break, game. I hope that was all of them from over at the other house, because the house we spawned in is now really compromised, and there's zombies inside, so I don't want to be there. Yeah, okay, good. Let's rest a little bit. How many stomps to the head can you take? Get my cowboy hat back on. Ah, please don't break that window. Come on. I don't want you drawing more zombies over. Just die. Ooh. Can opener. Look at that. I can reach through the window. Favorite that bad boy. We'll take all of this. Hell yeah. Thank God we got that hiking bag. Can I fill my water up right here? No. We need to get inside of this place and hide out. Please don't be anything. Thank you. Close that window. And shh. Close the door. Okay. Put my how cow <laughs> my cowboy cat back on. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some cereal. And I'll reconvene with you guys in the morning. Unless I get eaten in the middle of the night. I'll be right back. Okay. Good morning. We made it, but there is a lot of grumbling going on around me. Okay, let me speed up time, make it light outside. Oh god, we need water. Hopefully there's not too many. Let's drink and fill our mug. You know what? I'm just going to drink all of this right now. And we'll use that as our dedicated water bottle. And we can get rid of that. Okay. Favorite. That'll give us a little bit more time before we have to rush into somewhere. Some coffee? I'll take that. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Brick -ick 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 -ick. Open a can of pineapples. Let's put our vitamins away. Okay. 
Yeah, this place isn't much safer than <laughs> where we spawned, but at least it had a door and a window for the bedroom. And it's foggy. Yeah, look at all of them. Golly. And all these guys. They just happened to know I was staying in this room, but because I didn't make any noise, they couldn't come after me. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. 200 IQ zombies. Let's just try and loop them around in this backyard. Oh boy. There goes our cleaver. This is just going to be our life. For the foreseeable future. Whoop. I don't want to go out there because there's even more. Come on, at least get one before you break. Thank you. Two, maybe? Ah, thank you, hand fork. Three? Hey, it got all of them before it broke. Some more vitamins? Nice. Nice, sir. Hey, sir. You feeling tired? You want some ginseng? It'll keep you up for a week. Hey, sir. Been watching Cowboy Bebop recently. Love that show. All right, so I know there's a buttload of Zeds back here. Around that vehicle. There was a watch that went off last night. So that might be why they're all over here. Let's just creep up a little bit. Grab a couple. Yeah. I'm worried that there's Zeds inside of here. That's more than a couple. It's fine, though. It's fine. Insert everything is fine meme. Oh, ho, ho. I like that about the baseball bat. It's got some good range. Mmm. 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 But it is very slow. Nope. Be careful of the table. Seems like it has all right durability. I think it's been quite a while since I've used one. Good knockdown. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yes. Woo. Let's let our panic subside a little bit. Get a rest in. <laughs> Try and get into this house down here. If I could just find a couple hunting knives, oh boy, that would be awesome. Ah, there's still a big old group. That's a bedroom there. Yeah, come on down. I'm gonna surprise you right around this corner. Wham! <laughs> yeah! Come on, go down. I knew you were there, and you were trying to wait for me, weren't you? So you could grab me. No, I don't need any crawlers. No more rabid chihuahuas biting at my ankles. God, what is up with my nose? <laughs> yeah, you can rest in this. That's awesome. I like it. Nice little lawn chair. I can hear zombies, but I can't see them. Oh, now I can. <laughs> yep. Bring him back here. This baseball bat is the only thing that stands between me and these dang undead baconators. I gotta be mindful and take care of it. Oh, man. Let me guess. There's another big group back there by that other house, huh? Go down. Go down, please. There we go. Oh, man. I don't know how we didn't just get bit there. Stroke of luck. There we go. There we go. Yes. 
Every zombie down is a victory. Victory screech! I want to check the back of this SUV thing. Because there might be, like, something good up in here. Some bottles. Sure. Not much else, though. Unfortunately. God, go down! Go down! Yep. We just alerted the horde. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hitboxes, man. Ah! Swing for the hills! Swing for the hills! Now run for your life! What was that? I'm just having a heck of a time, aren't I? Come on. There we go. Yeah! A couple leather jackets. Hey, you can have that meat cleaver good, sir. Let's smoke. Got a couple bottles. Um, let's have some sardinas and chips. For mid-morning brekkie. Sooner we can get out of the underweight category, the better. There's plenty of food around here. I just need to get it. And we'll have the tortilla. No, nope, we won't. Because we're full. Okay. We're on our first day, almost our second. 146 zombies dispatched already. Gloves. Not leather gloves, but they're gloves. Fanny pack, fedora. Fill our water bottles up. I think I'll keep the three on me just in case. Oh, cool. He puts them back in. The backpack. That's nice. I like that. There's a zombie in here. Yeah, there you are. Creep on up. Nah. Game. <laughs> she hit her head on the couch. <laughs> as frustrating as this game can be, it has its moments sometimes. A sewing kit. Yo. Give me that needle. And some more thread. Nice. Let's favorite uh, that bad boy. Favorite this lighter as well. We can probably put all of this into our fanny pack. Same with the screwdriver and scissors. Yeah. And the pen. If it'll fit. There we go. Now let's eat the tortilla chips. That was a good find. I like it. So we can start tearing up clothing now. Get some tailoring going on to get a little bit more protection. A saucepan. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the saucepan. Ooh, and a meat cleaver. Almost brand new. The saucepan smasher is back, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, pour on ground. Yeah, we'll take two saucepans. Thank you very much. I don't have the best damage, but hey, you know, I am a short blunt guy. Let's actually equip that primary. Give the baseball bat a little bit of a rest. All right. What else we got? Ship and cheer break. Eating orange. Hey, orange. <laughs> Shout out. You're awesome. Everybody's awesome. Onion. Could you imagine eating a whole onion? Ugh. I'm just going to eat as much as I can here. Okay, good. No ice cream. That's fine. That's, you know, it's, it's okay. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to go out this back window. Looks like the fog has subsided. Nah, not really. I'm just going to keep sneaking around. This is our home for the time being. 11.40 a.m. I'm going to take a break. For a little bit, because my back hurts, because I've been doing this recording session for like five hours now. 
I'll reconvene with you guys in a minute. I also got to see a man about a horse. All right, I'm back. And looking at the time, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. It's like 40 minute recording already. If you find yourself enjoying the content, leave a like and consider subscribing. You are one click away from joining the Fire Nation army. And together we will rule the apocalypse of Knox County and Louisville this time. Uh, if you're just tuning into this episode, go on back to episode one and make sure to stay tuned in for more of Lily Claps story and adventure through Knox County. Have a great day out there, all you beautiful people, and I will catch you in the next one. Big thank you, thank you to all the channel members, and a big welcome to all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.